Hey all, Bob here, aka Mystery Safe, and these are the top five fish I regret buying. Number five is the Green Chromis. The Green Chromis is often sold as a great beginner fish, and to be honest, it can be a good beginner fish, but it is also often sold as a good schooling fish. That is not the case. They will fight one another until they are down to just one or two left in the aquarium. But that's not the reason I don't like them. They're just a bland green color. Number four, the Twin Spot Goby. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore the Twin Spot Goby. I think it's an amazing fish. I love the coloration, I love how active it is. However, it is a lot of work to care for this fish. It needs to be fed multiple times a day, and you need to make sure that it is eating. In other words, you need to get the food close to its mouth. If you don't have the time to care for this fish properly, avoid buying it. Number three, the Citron Goby. This colorful little fish is very active and it can be a cute fish to have in the aquarium. However, the reason I don't like it is it sits on my SPS coral irritating it. I have one in my aquarium now and I have been trying for the last six months to get it out. Although a beautiful and active fish, it can wreak havoc on SPS stick lovers. Number two, the Diamond Watchman Goby. This is another fish that I actually like. I have one in my aquarium now. The problem is it's constantly digging, constantly making mounds of sand, and sometimes getting that sand on top of the corals. I don't want that. So this is a fish that I regret buying for that reason. Otherwise, it's an amazing fish. It is also a jumper, so make sure if you do get this fish that you have a lid on your aquarium. Number one is the Cleaner Wrasse. The Cleaner Wrasse is a fish I do not think belongs in the aquarium. I do have one and I really regret getting it. As long as I have it, I will try to give it the best life I can give it and make sure that its health is well taken care of. They're often sold as a good way to control parasites in the aquarium, however that is not the case. In the aquarium, parasites will just team over a fish and this little guy cannot do enough to take care of it. They're also an obligate slime coat eater. In order for them to digest the food that they eat, they need the slime coat off of other fish, and therefore will often pester the other fish and irritate them. If you do have one in your aquarium, please don't feel bad about it. For years, we've been sold this fish as a great way to take care of parasites, and a fish that will help your aquarium and is an active swimmer. But frankly, they should be left on the reef where they can do the most good. Some of this is simply my opinion. Other things are facts that we as a reefing community have to deal with. Thanks for listening. This is Bob, a.k.a. Mr. Reef Safe.